Good morning, everyone. You welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Wednesday, the twenty eighth of July, twenty twenty one. I'm Karen Demajekodomi. Open Heavens is authored by Daddy in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adiboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that as we learn at your feet today, that you will teach us, you give us the understanding of your word, and the wonder working power of your word will find expression in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Our memory verse is taken from Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and have given and have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A Bible reading is taken from Hebrews 9. 24 to 28. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Not nor yet that he should offer himself often, as the high priest entereth into the holy place every year with the blood of others. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, once in the end of the world, had it entered to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as it is appointed unto men, wants to die, but after this, the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him, shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation praise the lord hallelujah the message there is power in the blood leviticus 17 10 to 12 contains seven prohibitions regarding eating anything that is still bleeding a memory verse explains that firstly blood is inherently necessary to maintain animal life so the life of an animal is in its blood secondly God has chosen blood as a fitting symbol for atonement and forgiveness of sin. Hebrews 9 verse 22 And almost all things are by the law, purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. The blood of Jesus is the most effective in all creation. It is recognized both in heaven and on earth. It cleanses from all sins. 1 John 1 verse 7 says, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. With the blood of Jesus, every believer has the boldness to enter into the presence of God, the holiest place in heaven and the earth. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 10 verse 19. You can see from the verse above that the blood of Jesus grants you access to all that you want from God. There are, however, other things you can do with the blood of Jesus, like covering yourself and your loved ones with it. Through the Holy Communion, you can drink the blood of Jesus and eat his flesh. Demons fear the blood of Jesus. You can cover your home and environment with the blood of Jesus. You can also plead the blood of Jesus upon your food or drinks so no demons can touch them. The blood of Jesus has the potency to heal and deliver from all evils, including attacks from witches, wizards, and other agents of darkness. The blood of Jesus, however, will only work for those who have put themselves under the direct protection of Christ. These are those who are born again and are living holy. 
Are you covered by the blood of Jesus? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And as we have been told, that there is power in the blood of Jesus. It, you know, it is written in Leviticus 17 verse 10 to 12. People were prohibited to eat from eating from eating anything that is still bleeding you know because firstly it is necessary to maintain the life animal life so the life of an animal is in its blood so as far as the blood is still flowing in that animal it is prohibited because that blood is the life of that animal that's how important the blood of the blood is also we're told that another thing that the blood does is that it is a fitting symbol for atonement and forgiveness of sin. That is, there cannot be an atonement of forgiveness without the shedding of the blood. So the book of Hebrews 9.22, it says, And almost all things are by the law touched with blood, and without shedding of blood there is no remission. We are also told, according to the Bible reading we read, that so Christ offered himself, to bear sins of many through his blood. So that is how important the blood of Jesus brings about atonement and forgiveness of sin. But I told that as powerful as the blood is, you know, there is a more there is the most effective of the blood that has ever been shed, and that is the blood of Jesus. It is recognized both in heaven and on earth. It cleanses all sin praise the lord hallelujah we are told in first john 1 verse 7 he says but if we walk in light as in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin so it cleanses from all sins it makes atonement and it, it brings about forgiveness because of the blood of jesus we can come boldly. He says, I even I am the one that blotted out your sin and I will remember it no more. Thank God for the blood that blots out. It wipes out sin as if you never sinned. You know, there are some people that will say, okay, because you did this, there are consequences. But the Lord does not remember it when you come to his presence because that blood wipes out sin and the sin is forgotten forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are told that with the blood of Jesus, every believer will have boldness to enter into the presence of God. If you remember, as immediately Jesus died and he gave up the ghost, when he shed the blood, the, the, the veil was torn from top to bottom and we could access the holies of the holies. And what the symbol is that we could communicate with God. So the blood of Jesus gave us that access to communicate to God to enter into his temple with boldness and let us come boldly to the throne of grace so we're able to have the access to the throne of grace having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of jesus there was no boldness in man because you know when when dogs sin what happens their tail is be, is in between their legs that was how man that was the relationship man had with god until the blood of jesus was shed so we could go into the presence of God to obtain mercy and find grace in terms of need and find grace in terms of we can see therefore that the, the blood of Jesus is grant access for all that we want when you enter into the throne of grace that is when you can ask God for what you want so it is we can actually go to God to his presence to pray unto him ask him for forgiveness to grant us anything that we want so there's anything there's nothing that we want that we cannot that God cannot grant to us through the blood of Jesus Christ. So we can run boldly to him and say, Lord, I want this. Because knowing fully well that the blood has been shed and indeed he will listen to us. The Bible says his face cannot behold iniquity. And thank God that whatever iniquity that is in us, the blood of Jesus takes care of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are also told that whatever it is that would add even for covering do you need protection you know you could get to some places they'll say oh it is protected by social so and so security in short some will say um keep off and there is there are dogs watching 
In this particular time, if a dog that if they shoot, he dies, even no matter how the security, no matter the military man that might be watching the place. But when the blood of Jesus watches over, the blood that heaven recognizes and the earth, whatsoever the demonic power, they bow at the blood of Jesus. So we can use the blood of Jesus as a covering for ourselves and for our loved one. Because when they, he says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When the demonic agents see the blood, they keep off, they back off. Because they've seen power that is beyond them. Because there is indeed power in the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can also drink the blood of Jesus also through the communion and eat the flesh. And with, with that test, diverse testimony that comes as a result of the Holy Communion. You can drink the blood of Jesus. You can plead it all over your environment. You, you can pour, pour, plead it in your food in your drinks and demons we keep off praise the lord hallelujah the blood of jesus has potency to heal are you sick are you afflicted in any way or the other you can plead the blood of jesus on your body you can plead it because there is power in the blood of jesus the blood of jesus delivers from every evil oppression from attacks of which which is wizard and other agents of the kingdom of darkness the bible says they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. So the blood of Jesus gives us victory. It avenges for us. I've had of a woman who said, you know, she saw she she was being attacked and all of a sudden she saw Jesus Christ and, you know, she could see that the blood came out in anger and he slew the head of her enemy. That is also how powerful the blood of Jesus is. is a weapon for, is a weapon for warfare. So during warfare, you can plead the blood of Jesus. You can send the blood of Jesus on Aaron to avenge you of every of, of, of every oppression, of every attack of the kingdom of darkness. And yes, indeed, the power in the blood of Jesus will answer and do wonders in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As powerful as the blood of Jesus is, it only works for those. It only works for those who are children of God, who are children of God and who have associated with Jesus Christ. Like it is written in that, in the book Bible verse we read, the 28, it says, So Christ was once offered to bear sin for many and unto them that look for him. So are you look, Are you on the lookout for Jesus? Are you for Jesus or are you doing your own and Jesus Christ is doing his own? It is high time, even in this perilous time, even in this time that the heart of man is even more desperately wicked than it used to be. It is time you are associated. It is time you cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. It is time you plead the blood of Jesus. It is time that you associate yourself with the power in the blood of Jesus. So it can do wonders, protect, overcome, fight a battle, deliver. It says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. If the blood of Jesus has been pleaded, you can say boldly that you fear no evil because the blood indeed will fight your battle and every demonic power will keep up as they see the blood of Jesus. So it is time you give your life to Christ and say, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I, I look up to you and I connect with the blood of Jesus. I believe that you died, you shed your blood on the cross of Calvary for my for the atonement of my sin please forgive me cleanse me with your blood i i run boldly to your throne of grace I associate with the blood and i pray that from henceforth the blood will do wonders in my life if you have done said this prayer i will pray i will plead with you to renew your mind daily study the word of god meditate in it go to a bible believing church connect with god at all times praise him pray and worship him and indeed he will do wonders in your life and as you plead the blood of jesus the blood will do one wonders in your life and for as many of us that were children of god i pray in the name of jesus that the power in the blood of jesus will begin to work wonders in our life and everything that we need every every of our heart desires shall be granted as we access the throne of grace and as we pray as we associate with the blood of jesus in Jesus' name, Amen.
the action point says wash yourself in the blood of Jesus today. Daily, let's plead the blood of Jesus and it will do wonders in our life. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. Amen.